how long? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. King. I was there. I'm not having to listen to what a bunch of lying news people tell me about the movement. Huh? I know 98% of the folks in the forefront had Reverend in front of their name before they had PhD. I know that movement was almost 79% black women, but that's not reflected. Huh? That's the good thing about the movie Selma. And those of you who haven't seen it, shame on you. I was with Martin Luther King III when we watched it. And he walked out crying and said, I learned more about my mother and father watching this than anything. Hmm? Somewhere. And then white folks had nerve enough to argue about Lyndon Johnson's role. Did y'all see that? Oh, they went crazy. And had nerve enough to ask me. I said, well, I can't tell you about that. I knew I was born in 1932, and everybody I grew up with knew Cleopatra was black, but when y'all put in the movie, it was Liz Taylor. We didn't complain. Hmm? We complain. As long as I've been going to movies, I've never seen a scene like that one in Selma where the church got blown up. Nothing like it. You remember that? Killed the four little girls? That wasn't in Selma, that was in Birmingham. How come you white folks ain't complaining about that? Huh? You don't go to the movie to see history. You go to the movie to enjoy yourself. Huh? I went to the movie and saw Superman and, and ran out and waited right next to a, a phone booth. I hope he come in here, I'm gonna get his clothes. <laughs> you come here and change, huh? Martin Luther King wasn't even in Selma. Hmm? That's the one. Amelia Barton. That's the one who started Selma. And Bloody Sunday, 50th anniversary, that's why you see John Lewis every time because Lewis was there, he was in SNCC. He wasn't in SCLC. Hmm? So what history are you all talking about? Hmm? And the reason presidents in the White House now, because of black man, and that's what Selma was about. Name. Jimmy Lee Jackson. <laughs> and that march on the bridge was not for voting rights. It was protesting what had happened to Jimmy Lee Jackson. But I don't expect you to know. You take your damn black children to Disneyland to see a rat. But having been to King's grave or his tomb, and had he not died, you wouldn't be welcome in Disneyland. That's right. That's right. See, you can't hide from me. I'm blacker than you are. And I know it's not. Any of y'all have found I do 270 days a year. 98 cent of my order is white folks. Why? Because they liberated. Hmm? We're the only group of people in the history of this country that went through what we went through and opt for education over liberation. Hmm? I don't care how many degrees, how much money you got, by the time you leave this job and go home, they can take all of that and ain't a damn thing you can do about it. Hmm? And you black folk got nerve enough to love the Washington dead skin. What kind of fool are you? Huh? What kind of fool are you? Huh? 
especially you old black folks that's been here a long time. If y'all can't see that, that's the American Nazi Party. In 1961, when they was trying to get the, the, the Washington team to integrate with a Negro, he said never and invited them Nazi party there. That's them marching around the stadium saying never. But that don't bother you. Why? Because you ain't liberated. Hmm? That white boy came in from New York and bought the Washington team for $800 million. I was talking to my Indian friends. He said, I wish y'all take that casino money and, and, and buy it for $900 million. And then name it the nigger honkies. I bet y'all be upset then, huh? You black folks that ain't upset the way they do in the end. You'd be upset if they named it the nigger honk. Who the hell you think you are? <laughs> or did you ever know millions of black slaves ran away from slavery and went to the Indian reservation and they didn't let them white folk come in and get us? Huh? Okay. And you worry about respect. What kind of respect? Huh? Somewhere. You drive down the street, five PhDs, millions of dollars in the bank, and you hear a squat car, you squeeze the steering wheel. <laughs> and you have no control over it. Huh? You don't hear God talking to you. I oh, your God before I stoop and let you stoop to a white racist system just so you can pay your rent and feed your children, I will destroy you from the inside. And now everybody worrying about how come you got so many diseases and all of that. Hmm? Black men, you 4% of America's population, 4%. 82% hmm? of prostate cancer death in America. Black men, what are you doing wrong? And what God are you praying to? Huh? Somewhere. Black women, 6% of America's population. 98%, 98% of fibroid tumors is black women. The next highest amount is Jewish women. What y'all got in common? Nappy hair. God made your hair, not serious and robust. And damn it, when I put you here, your hair didn't look. I dare you to change something I made. Huh? I dare you. Huh? See, when, you, when, you, when you're talking to God, you ain't talking to white folks. Huh? You ain't talking to rich folks. You're talking about the person that created the whole universe. The stars, the moon. And yet and still, you let some chumps, huh? Somewhere. They got nerve enough to think you happy. Hmm? Somewhere. Somewhere. It is about being happy, being nice and kind. Get your Bible, look in the Old Testament, the New Testament, and see if Jesus ever told you to say thanks or God ever told you to say thanks. Say it, humble yourself, but you can't do that. Huh? You're so angry about a white racist system, you're not going to do it. Find everybody out here that moved this system, they're not angry. I know them. they just as pleasant and nice. Hmm? I couldn't believe how nice King was. King never said nothing on TV that when it was off, he said something else. Now, I'm not like that. I'll call you a honky in a minute. Because <laughs> I know what honky mean. Hmm? Prostitution has always been for white men in America. I had a white boy ask me on TV, you mean black men don't use prostitution? No, she's my sister. I get her when she leaves your house wet and a pocket full of money. Hmm? And all the major prostitutes was in black neighborhoods so that white boy didn't have to worry about bumping into somebody that knew he was the mayor or knew he was the congressperson. 
So they was in black neighborhoods. Black folk couldn't go to them. And they would come in, they'd honk the horn. Honk, honk. That's where the word came from, okay? That's where the word come from. So somewhere, we have come a long ways, but what did that mean? Huh? You changed my dollar for 98 cents and tell me I used to get 40 cents, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm not here to get 98 cents for a dollar. I'm here to get a full dollar change for a dollar, or this cash register will never ring again, okay? You talk about all that police action that happened in the last six months. How do you change? You could change it, but you're not. You're such punks. All you got to do is call for black folks and white folks to boycott Thanksgiving and Christmas. Right. They would go, oh, you have to tell you're not going to do it. Huh? You would rather tell your boys, I got three sons, and I would never tell them. When you see this white racist cop coming down the street, behave yourself. Why are you going to teach a, a black boy to behave to murderers, to filth? That's a violation of God. You, you ain't got the guts. You go all over the world fighting wars, but you ain't got the guts to say to this cop, this is my boy. You tell the murderer he better not mess with your son. Not tell your son to behave to somebody going to put a chokehold on him, but they never put a chokehold on a mafia. Right, so somewhere, it's up to you. You can take whatever kind of abuse you want. That's your job. I chose not to do it. I chose not whatever money y'all give me. It ain't worth my dignity. It ain't worth me being free to walk down the street, huh? And so let me say to you all who put this together for today, thank you. I knew it was women, did it? Where are you? <laughs> no, no. Stand up, stand up. Yeah. Thank you.